Hello YouTube, Chris Fugo Audio File again with you for another unboxing. Uh, this week's probably going to be just a couple of unboxing videos. I have to preach at my church on Sunday, and so um, that will keep me busy, and I'm not going to have time to write, film, and edit a bunch of videos. So we'll, we'll just have a couple unboxings, and as you probably saw by the title, this is the Yamo S803 bookshelf speakers. Now, there are uh, dozens of these unboxings on YouTube. You probably don't really need to see another one. That's not really what I was thinking. <laughs> the girl came up with it. But um, I kind of had a story for you, and that is you may have seen me unbox the towers in the center channel, the ammo speakers in the S line. And there you have the grill. Looks like actually that's the correct way. But there was no bookshelves to be found, and I was kind of uh, concerned about that. And so um, I contacted Adorama, and they said they were out of stock. Well, they finally shipped last week, and so here we have them. So about a month later, I got the bookshelf speakers to the matching Yamo Studio Series Home Theater 5.0 package. Another grill. All right. Take a look at these speakers. So I do plan on doing a review of this whole package as a home theater. And I got a, I got a really good deal on these speakers. Um, I'm not gonna really say what that is right now. Perhaps I will mention it in the, in the review. So I'm gonna grab them by their port. These are the 803. Ah, I don't wanna ruin this. I would like to resell these. These are the 803 bookshelf speakers. So they're, they're front ported, five and a quarter, silk dome, typical. Uh, one inch tweeter there you see some feet on the bottom I see two hangers for um, wall mounting this is a very heavy speaker I don't know if I want to wall mount it I would make sure that I got a high quality screw and maybe put some felt back there so it doesn't damage it now this has two sets of binding posts you may or may not know this but these are not uh, by Ampable this is for the Atmos module which can go on top there. I look, those things are pretty expensive um, to add on. So if you want to add four of them, that'd be quite the deal, but it'd be pretty expensive. That, that's a nice option to have. So these are like typical keyhole mount there. So it would be quite simple to screw them onto the walls. I probably wouldn't do that, but one could do that. They're so inclined. Just for fun, let's see how this one fares here. I'm a little disappointed in the slow shipping on these, but I don't think it was, I opened this upside down. I don't think it was Adorama's fault. I, I think it was just supply chain issues with Yamo. There's the other one. Looks good. I like the look of these. I've seen them in white. I like them in black as well. The white ones were nice. I like the kind of goldish copper colored woofer there. Yeah, kind of copper colored. Yeah, great speaker. So, <clears throat> I will be doing a review of these speakers, hopefully in about a month here. I'm going to use them in my home theater for about that time and um, really try to do my best to evaluate what I think of them as home theater as well as two-channel music speakers. So stay tuned for that. I thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please like and subscribe. Also, comment down below. Have you heard these speakers? Do you own them? What, what do you think of them? Uh, will I be disappointed or impressed? So thanks for watching, and remember, frugal doesn't necessarily mean cheap.